All right, well guys, we're back on part two of the LCG crawler that we're building. Uh, I got the body trimmed down a little bit. Not sure I want it to go any lower. It's fairly parallel to the skid. And I've got the nose tucked in behind the bumper nice. Um, everything's pretty much hidden. So if I come down, it'll only be maybe another quarter of an inch or so. But we'll see. Uh, as far as mounts i plan on doing magnetic body mounts with this and a patina paint job but uh, i haven't ordered the magnetic body mounts yet so i still have to do that um i took the 25 kilogram servo that was on the back of the enduro crawler where we had made it four wheel steering um, i just grabbed that for now and uh, put that on the front got all my wires tucked around nice and neat got my battery installed Everything, uh, everything happy, I think, where it is. This front dry shaft is super short. I actually had to flip the gear on the uh, output shafts. You can see this one here is a little bit longer. The actual shaft is longer than this one. I had to flip it around to where the longer one stuck out the back and uh, move the transmission back a little bit. That was like 50 millimeters, and it was just way too short, so... Move the transmission back a little bit, flip the output shaft around, uh, so that gave me the little bit of give that I needed, so we got the nice articulation now. Pretty happy with it overall. I don't know that it balances perfect. Uh, again, we're still just running plastic bead locks, so not sure how it's going to do on side hill, but I wanted to try the plastic at first and then go from there, so we can always get aluminum wheels later. But everything's uh, hooked up, and man, this thing is slow. You you can just barely touch the throttle. See if I can just barely get it to move here. You can tell if that red and green light is flashing, that motor's working. It's actually moving right now, if you can see it. That is really slow. So... It's got the FOC technology, which means if I put my finger back here, it's going to ramp up the speed to increase the torque. I haven't moved my finger, but man, is it pulling. And uh, so as far as speed, that's my top speed. Not very fast. I guess I really wasn't thinking about when I ordered the 1200 kV that I would have gear reduction in the transmission and gear reduction in the portals, and maybe I would have needed a little more speed. But, worst case scenario is I take this 1200, put it in the Enjora, and order an 18 or a 23 for this guy. So, um, not sure. We'll, we'll get it on the rocks and see how it does. It is all together. I had one problem with the bracket that I ordered. It wanted to set the servo too far back, so I had to put spacers in there to, uh, stay up there. Had to put spacers in there to bring the servo forward a little bit just so the arm wouldn't hit the diff. And you can see now it's, does not hit, but it's close, so. Uh, other than that, we got the soft springs on the front, the firm on the rear. I do have the medium ones that I can put on the back if I want to. Um, it's, it's up a little higher. I'd like to have it down, so I may change these to the medium springs just to see if it'll ride a little lower. Um, the front seems to be compressing pretty good on its own. And, and again, these are brand new. They haven't had any break-in time. So they, they should soften up a little bit as they get used. Uh, same with the rear. I may switch to the medium springs, and then when they break in, go back to the firm springs. Don't know. It's all, uh, all testing. But I think we got it to a point that we can go do some testing other than uh, getting the body mounted. I mean, of course, we can run it without the body, but what fun is that? Um, as far as mounting, I just mounted everything on Velcro. With the body on, I can get right under there and just kind of hit it with my finger and turn it off. You know, you still have to kind of 
pop your body off to plug your battery in or whatever, but if you're just going back to the trail, you can reach under there and turn it on. So, uh, just mounted with Velcro. That way, if I need to change anything, I can. But, uh, there you go, guys. Um, as far as programming, I did use my 1080 program card, and I referred to the instructions that came with the motor and you've got one through nine that you can change the settings of i went through and changed what i needed to and what i think will work best and again that's all just trial and error so we'll see all right guys well that's going to do it for part two of the amazon crawler um if we need to order a different motor if this one is just geared too low with the 1200 we'll just go ahead and put this 1200 in the enjoyer crawler and possibly go up with a different one but we're going to test it first um you know we can always use that motor and something else we can put that in the traxxas uh or you know the uh enjoyer crawler or something like that so we'll we'll definitely use it even if it's not for this um i don't think i'm going to need any overdrive or underdrive as far as gearing right now maybe down the road but we're going to test it as is first so as soon as i get the magnets in to mount the body we'll do the patina paint job happy new year to everybody out there thanks for watching guys thanks for all the new subscribers uh questions comments emails feel free to talk i might not answer the same day but i try to get back to you so thanks so much guys for all you do Trying to get more videos out this year, so let's get the year started right. Thanks for watching.